Problem 3.3. This problem aims to evaluate the performance of a gas turbine engine and how it is affected by increasing the tolerance that the turbine blades have to the gases that emerge from the combustor. This tolerance can be improved by applying a thermal barrier coating TBC to the blades and also by passing a cooling air um, around the blades. Usually the blades are made of a high temperature super alloy and a ceramic is used as the TBP. For this problem, the temperature and the convection coefficient for both the gases and the cooling air are given. The material of the blade is inconel and the thickness is given. In addition, the material for TBC is going to be zirconia and also the thickness is given. There is a metallic bonding agent between the two materials, which creates a thermal resistance, a value that is given. The aim of the problem is to evaluate whether the effect of the thermal barrier coating is going to allow the blade to be maintained at a temperature below a maximum value. It is also desired to plot the temperature distribution with and without the thermal barrier coating. And we need to find out also whether there are some limits for the thickness of this barrier. Due to the nature of the geometry, we could treat this problem as one dimensional, which could be treated as a plain wall. It's also steady, and we could also neglect the effects of radiation. We start the analysis by representing the problem using thermal resistances. The first resistance is a convection resistance due to the hot gases outside of the blade. The second resistance is a conduction resistance that goes across the zirconia, which is the thermal barrier coating in the problem. The third resistance is a contact resistance that is provided by the nature of the adhesive. The fourth resistance is the conduction resistance that goes through the blade, which material for this case is inconel. And the last resistance is a convection resistance due to the cooling air in the inside of the blade. The next step is to calculate the total resistance going through the system. Notice that we simply do an addition of all the resistances since it's a series circuit. We simply add the values and we obtain the value of 3.69 times 10 to the negative 3 meter square Kelvin over watts. Using this value now, we could find what is the value of the flux going through the circuit. So we simply said that the flux is equal to the change in temperatures from T infinity outside to T infinity inside, divided by the total resistance. If we plug all the values, we find out that the flux is equal to 3.52 times 10 to the negative 5 watts over meter square. Notice that this value of the flux is going to be constant throughout the circuit. Since we now know the flux going through the circuit, we could evaluate the temperatures of the inside and outside of the blade and evaluate it with the maximum value of 1250. The way that we're going to do it is we're gonna relate the flux with the temperatures and the resistances between the nodes. We're gonna start with the temperature inside of the blade and the temperature of the fluid of the cooling air. So we're gonna start with the flux the temperatures between TSI minus the cooling air and the resistance between them is going to be a convective resistance. By solving for TSI, we find that this value is equal to 1104 Kelvin. The maximum value that is allowed for the blades is equal to 1250. So this means that at least for this surface, the condition holds. If we follow the same process, we do 
the evaluation of the flux between the temperature in the outside of the blade and the cooling air. And now we simply add two of the resistances. So LK of ink and L plus one over HI. If we solve for TSO, we see that the value is going to be equal to 1174 Kelvin. This value is still below the maximum allowed value, value of 1250K. This indicates that by adding the thermal barrier coating to the blades, the blades are able to resist higher values of temperature outside and be able to maintain the temperature below a required value of 1250, therefore improving the performance of a gas turbine engine.